Welcome back everybody to Sweet Home 3D and uh, in today's video we're going to be working in the what was the uh, powder room now it is the master bathroom and uh, we'll talk about why why that changed so we're going to lay the countertops do some other things put the sink in so on and so forth so let's get everything set up and get this party started All right, and we're back. So, um, yeah, we're gonna put the counter. Well, we're gonna put the counters in. We're gonna put the sink in. Gonna start with the doors. I took the sink out, and we're gonna start with uh, installing the uh, cabinet doors. And I'll be honest, I like the way this looks. Like they're really tall cabinet doors, almost the same height as the drawers. However, this is not gonna work um, for two reasons. Um, reason number one. Uh, when you go to open the door, you will be greeted with the face bowl or the sink, whatever you want to call it. Um, you'll find that there when you open the door. So um, it doesn't make for a good view. Um, so that's reason number one. That's probably the most important uh, reason of them all. But uh, number two reason, I'll show you here in just a second. I'm going to take a stroll here as soon as I get this all lined up. Um, as best I can. I'll check in here in a second to make sure that the uh, the doors are lined up with our cabinet. Oh, and by the way, if you want to do a custom cabinet, you're in Sweet Home, you're a Sweet Home user, your walls are the best friends, or your best friend. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, you can just draw your walls. Pardon me, pardon me. Draw the walls how you, um, you know, want your cabinet or your vanity to look like. And then you can just get the models that you want to put in the cabinets, the drawers, anything you want. So, but let's take a peek back here real quick. And if we simply uh, scroll down, I'm going to talk about the frame rate thing in a little bit because that was not always the case. So I will explain uh, what happened. If you're a Sweet Home user, you already know what happened. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go back here real quick and take a little sneak peek. I also want to make sure that the, the doors are lined up. And you can see a little bit of daylight in that left side cabinet door, so we have to address that. But the big problem um, are these like fins in the back that came with the doors. We could not make those go away, so they're there, and um, we got to live with them. But if we put the sink in, they're, they're going to go right through the sink, so that's a no-brainer right there. So, <clears throat> pardon me. So what we're going to have to do? Got my water right here. I'm going to have to take a little drink in a little bit. But we're going to add, um, we're going to drop the, the doors down in height, and we're going to add our uh, filler panels, or filler panel, that's right, panel, um, to the uh, vanity. So therefore, now, of course, when you open your cabinet doors, you are not greeted with the sink first thing. So uh, I think that makes for a uh, a win-win. Um, also, I also went through, took the liberty of exporting this piece here, the filler panel. Kind of like to the dimensions that I wanted it, and then I'm just working it in here. But um, I re-imported it, and if I were to go into my folder uh, up top under miscellaneous, um, you'll see it, and you'll see it marked as, um, boo -boo -boo -boo, nope, um, oh, pass-through. So it be parenthesis, like filler panel, parenthesis, pass-through. Okay, and all that is is I simply when I re-imported it in the importer, um, you have a few options like um, your dimensions, uh, your height, you know, like elevation, um, things like that. But you can also mark it door or window. Um, thus, if you're installing or importing a door or window, when you um, put it here to the wall, it'll go through the wall, and so you'll be able to see out of it. And the same with the door. So. If you have the door in the open position, um, you can then see through the door door frame, or the you know you get the picture, right? You get the picture. So it, anyway, I set the filler panel for um, door or window, and um, so now I can put it in the in the wall here because it is a wall technically, and I got a little bit of daylight here between the filler panel and our cabinet door, so we'll take care of that. We'll just quickly change shots. And scenes, and then we, we change the scene um, that will uh, be taken care of. I'll snap my fingers, something like that, and then uh, bada boom, bada bing, and uh, there you go. You know, daylight's gone. Um, anyway, so so why do we set it for um, door or window? This piece here, and the cabinet doors as well. So why do we do that? 
um, when you walk away from it, it doesn't draw out. So if I were just to put the doors up against the um, the vanity like that and turn around, turn around and walk away a few feet, um, they'll draw out. Like they'll they'll go away. So that's that's your draw rate, um, and that really can be changed in Sweet Home. That's that's really technical stuff. But by setting it for a door or window, then actually goes that model is actually in the wall, and so it won't draw out when you walk away from it. So. Um, Hopefully that's not too technical. Hopefully that's pretty explanatory. Explanatory, Man, I'm having trouble talking. But we're going to get through it. We're going to keep it moving, though. So don't mind me, right? Um, some other things I want to talk about, too, while we're at it. Um, so our freedom of movement is not what it used to be. Um, if you watch some of the other videos, like the tour video, like the Grand Tour. Um, I think I was... No, I didn't work on the... Uh, I didn't work in any of the bedrooms, but any rate, um, back then we had freedom of movement. That was that was like a year ago we had freedom of movement. And now that's kind of restricted. So the penthouse is really munching on memory um, as I would munch on chips. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get this sink in um, too. So our freedom of movement is kind of um, restricted. Kind of found a way around that. But the reason is it is a big, the penthouse is big. It has a lot of models in it, and each model that you have takes up a certain amount of memory. Um, a good way to, to explain this would be, if that didn't do it, <laughs> would be like a Word document, right? So you're doing a book report, you're writing a uh, anything in Word. Um, each letter that you do takes up a certain percentage in your memory. If you don't save it and you just back out and you choose not to save it, uh, you will lose that report or that whatever you wrote. Um, in your Word document. Um, the same thing here, but more on a larger scale. These models take up more memory than just like the letter T, right? So, um, how, you know, so now the question is, well, how do you fix that? How, is there a way to get around that? And um, not really. You just have to make smaller, um, smaller uh, houses, right? So this will probably be the smallest or the, the largest one I'd probably ever do. Uh, so just because of that, I didn't know, um, you know, I didn't. So it's a learn. The penthouse has been a learning experience. But anyway, I'm just gonna blab blabber on. So don't mind me. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start to install our uh, countertops here, the left side and the right. Also need to put it in the rear. And I have a few concerns here, but I guess we're gonna address those in the next video. Uh, we have some texture concerns. We're going to use the same textures as the uh, cabinet doors down below. So it's that peach uh, color. Pardon me. Watch your eyes. Um, I hate how that blinks up and down when you um, when you do that. When you take the, um, the uh, top down and you take that window, take it away. Yeah, anyway, so <laughs> we got our counters. Look at that. We got the whole counters. But um, we're going to have some texture issues. Um, you know, coming down the down the pike, we have to address. Anyway, so yeah, we got our counters, and what's next? Uh, not going to be in this video, but we do have to think about putting the backsplash here, uh, wrap that up the whole length around. Also, need to think about putting the mirrors in, and probably some sconces or some um, pendant lights, and then we have to address this. Um, well, we'll do that. You know what? We'll do that in a minute. We'll do that in this video. We're going to address that. And then we have to think about like a nice faucet there in the back. Yeah, well, I mean, let me stop doing that with the mouse. Anyway, <laughs> that doesn't look good, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, so we have to do that. I think in the next scene, yep, there it is. And everything's all nice and clean. The sink is a little higher than what it needs to be. Um, but we will go ahead and address that in the next uh, video. But yeah, I am worried about how everything's going to texture. The arches that we use don't texture very well. We had to use the arches because the counters don't uh, here. They don't arch around the sink. So uh, we had to use arches to fill that in uh, right here in the, in the front piece. So everything's all nice and fancy smancy. But we will address the uh, texturing in the next video. Um, I think that's going to be a problem. And, you know, how do we overcome that? So at this point, we're going to go ahead and stop the video here. And I want to say thank you, thank you. If you stumbled across um, our channel, just you know, doing some searches and things like that, and you liked it, hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you really liked it, hit the like button. 
And um, hey, help us out. If you didn't like it, hit the like button anyway. That would be great. And then you hit subscribe if you want to join us. You know, we would love to, help, to have you. Um, hit the subscribe and the bell and you will be notified anytime we release a video here on the channel. So again, I want to thank everyone for watching and for visiting the home of virtual home creation. Signing off for now. Goodbye, everybody.